have won enough money to get myself totally clear of debt and I've finally met the right girl but I've got to marry the wrong one I don't suppose there's anything I can do to get myself out of this is there? So I must live my life in terror I must live my life in terror If it means I will forever Be losing, never loving you Up the staircase to desire There's just one step that's final In taking it there's danger Because there can be no more denial There can be no more denial And I'm sure that I would never Turn away from loving you How can I explain this To of all people you Should I shout it from the rooftop Where I fell for you How can I convince you Did Kelly like her birthday present? Oh, PJ. How long did this one last? Almost 73 days. That's a new record for you. And furthermore, what's with this wrinkly poker party? No offense, but it's just not normal, PJ. 
It's like an old folks home in here. Is there a girl in this town who hasn't dumped you yet, PJ? If this ground hasn't already swallowed anybody whole, can it please start now? PJ, I've got some really The thing is, PJ, I'm not into playing man anymore. I'm not into women, so I think I'm just not right for each other. I'm sorry, but I think I'm allergic to you, PJ. If this ground hasn't already swallowed anybody whole, can it please start now? No, I think there's one or two left who have yet to sample the magic. Well, never say die, hombre. If you ever need any advice. He can get himself into enough trouble. My name is P.J. Johnson. I'm in a bit of a pickle. To be honest, things will be going better. I have tried to be a good baker, but... The shop's limping along. I know I promised you that I'd, I'd look after the place, but you know what? I can't help thinking that maybe it'd be better if I just sold up. I wish I knew what to do. Like, I wish you could give me a sign or something, you know? Should I just sell up? I think that's a no. Credit card maxed, bank loan refused, been forced to cancel my daily droid subscription. I guess that just leaves the tanning salon. Okay, I'll pay you back, should have, uh, just go and get some scratch cards, should I just buy a few scratch? I'm not winning that lottery, don't we? I, Mr. Duffy, I just need to borrow a few, a few thousand quid just for a few months, and I'll pay you back, should have, there won't be any problem. There's three shades to choose from, Visa Oper, American Brown, or Full On Oompa Loompa. Actually, I'm having a couple of um, cash flow problems. But it's only four weeks till the wedding. I can't do it. But why? It just wouldn't work. Gonna need the ring back as well. It was my mother's. Thanks. Your mental kiss. You can't dump me. I won't let you. Okay. You're a control freak. No, I'm not. Now you get back in there and you act like everything's normal. That's it. Enough's enough. Stevie! Get back here! Stevie! You do understand the terms and conditions of this transaction. I cannot yeah. Good lad. Come here every Monday morning to make your repayment. If you don't, you get to spend some quality time with our John. Good news. I resubscribed to the Daily Droid. Only had to miss five issues. Bad news. It's Granda Duffy, the founder of Tan and of Han, has died. Thought some buns might help. Hey, Paul. John, all right? <laughs> Something funny? No, it, it just awakes, make me a wee bit nervous. You know what makes me nervous? When people miss their payments. 
Yeah, I just didn't think you'd want me bothering you with money matters on a day like this. Have you ever tried to break your wee bond with broken thumbs? Were you the whisk? Or a spatula? Sorry. Sorry. I'll, um, I'll have that money with you first thing tomorrow morning, okay? Ah. Thank you. So, can I break his thumbs? Not if he's still paying up. Do I have to explain this to you again? See, some people in the village say John Duffy has a biscuit tin full of thumbs. I must really remember to not upset this family. Sorry for your loss there, Mrs. Duffy, if, um, maybe try to keep... Ah, you shouldn't have. Did you bake these? I did, yeah. Thanks. Sorry for your loss, Mrs. Duffy. Thanks, son. How are you and yourself? Are you OK? I'm crippled with wind. And my belly is blew up like a beach ball. Oh. Hello. I served him his last paint, you know. Surprised to see you here. Pay him my respects. To reach that age and be hit by a random hurling ball. <laughs> Tragic. I see that new supermarket opens on Friday. Yeah. That'll put you under a bit of pressure, I'd say. Yeah. That'll be the end of you, maybe. Guess who's dead? Oh, no. Not him. Go on. Have a guess. Could you just tell me? Well, do you know Dermot Casey? Yes. Well, do you know his cousin, Mickey? Always wore a duffel coat. Had that wee Jack Russell with him everywhere. Had a forehead you could see movies on. Mickey Widescreen, yes. Aye. Well, do you know the girl he married? No. Well, it was her dad. Tragic. It can't be jilted again. It was hard enough the first time. I know, like an he was loaded. And the second time was even worse. Mummy, that's six pack. If it happens again, I'll be a laughing stock. Especially Stevie Noonak. But what if it was me that dumped him? Most of the fellas in the village have dumped you. <sighs> They'd know it was a cover-up. Not if I did it to marry somebody else. Well, there's always someone coming. Her granda. He just nipped out to collect his winnings on the lottery. Found him lying outside, clutching three numbers and a bonus ball. All that for the sake of a tenor? Life's mean on those cheap streets. Sorry for your loss, Kitty. I thought you said you'd swallowed it. I did. Look, 
on my own bed, Stevie. Not anymore, I'm not. Now, would you? you can't down. I'm offering you a business deal. A what? You owe a fair amount to our Paul and John. Well, yes, and they're going to break a lot more than my thumbs now. They'd never be able to lay a finger on you if you were family. And the debt would be cleared. All you have to do is take me up the aisle. Sure, it's all arranged for Mary and Stevie anyway. This is no joke. It's not a joke. Listen, neither of us have been lucky in love, have we? I need to get married. And you need to keep your shop. What have I got to lose? Look. You should have just asked me first. I know. But I couldn't take a chance on you back at night. When you've been let down as often as I have. I can't be shamed like that again. Look. It's done now, you know. There's no point in crying over spilt milk. Just. I'm going to have a cup of tea. If you're doing it to clear your debt to the twins, then don't. We'll have a whip round. It's a lot of money, Mute. We'll all rob a bank. Look, I promised that I'm going to do it, so... If this is because of your promise to keep the business going, your dad wouldn't want you to keep it. Not like this, PJ. Well, thank God they aren't alive to see this. It would have killed them. You're right, Annie. Look, it's not even a real marriage. You know, it's a... It's a business deal. What? You mean you wouldn't have to... blow the whole jewel, like? No! No, 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 God, no, she'll be in the spare room and, you know, after a year we'll get a divorce. Or something. Simple as that. And she's not got any other ideas. Well, like I said, it's a business deal. Big Stevie's out. Put PJ in. few wee things to sort out before we tie the knot, sugar lump. This is a timetable schedule for, like, the next four weeks. The bits highlighted in pink are the ones you have to be there for. This is a marriage notice form. You fill in your details and I'll fill in the rest. Now, have you got a copy of your birth certificate? Yeah. Good. Make sure it's the long version. Have you got a passport? No. Oh, please. It takes ages to get a British passport. Get an Irish one. It'll be quicker. Now, these forms have to be in two weeks before the ceremony. And it won't be postponed. Got it, sugar lump? Got it, yeah. Good. Well, I've been a little hard on you. It's what I do, it's what I put you through And you know I see too It's my pointless point of view You've been more than hard on me I'll open doors and you'll never see I drop my coat Hello, Cupcake. PJ speaking. Hello, Miss McGrath, how are you? Kate will be with you at half one. Oh, 
I'm sorry, I'll be with you in one minute. You've been the shackles on me And then all this time I'm the chains around you I know you. Yeah. Yeah, yes, I'm. Um, Gala? Gala? Gala, I think you must be mistaken me for somebody else. Oh, I'm so I'm sorry, Trace. No! By all means, I am. Um, I have a cafe just up the road. Maybe you'd like to get. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay? Yes, it's, it's a good idea. I fell on my kick. That woman will make mince meat of him. What can we do? The big idiot's promised to marry her. You know him. When she's made a promise, he'll keep it. It's good to know there are some men who can. Sorry, what did you say your name was again? I'm, I'm Gala. Um, like Salvador Dali, wife. You, you know Dali? Doesn't he play for AC Milan? He was a painter. Yes, yes. He, he's my favorite. Where are you from? She's foreign shifty, not hard of hearing. Sorry. Where? Are you from? I'm from Belgium. Belgium. And what brings you to Bon Beg, darling? Bus bring me. <laughs> the bus. <laughs> the cracker. Oh. I made that. It's clever. Clever. Are you visiting someone here? No, I I not know anyone. Are you on holiday, Gala? Um, no. I'm looking for a job. What do you do? I'm artist. Exactly what I need. Do you know how to pull a pint? It's the end of the holiday season, so there'll be very few guests from now on. It, it's beautiful. This is your room? No. It's yours. Yeah, if you want it. For me? I can't afford to pay you, but if you help me out in the pub in the evenings, you can stay here for free. And it'd be great to have the company. Thank you, Annie. Thank you too much. Do you mind? <laughs> the new supermarket opens today. Not catch me either. Ladies and gentlemen, 
My name is Derek O'Brien, and it gives me great pleasure to officially open this new branch of Sanko. Derek, we haven't got all day. Come on! All frozen food. Ugh. My dad used to say, nothing tasty ever comes out of a freezer. Ah! Put the life out of me, kitty. Checking out the competition. That's not a joke, you know, this place is a serious threat to Cupcake. Right enough. Oh, your sit fitting's Thursday at three. Thursday at three, yeah. yeah. Okay, sweet cheeks. Listen, I have to go serious at wedding shopping today. A wee kiss would be enough to keep up appearances. It wasn't a suggestion. It was a business agreement. And that wasn't part of it. Why is that? Was you only joking? Don't forget, Thursday at three. Hey, Paul. John, all right? Gala? What are you doing here? I get a job. The boss comes to pub. He asks what I do. I say I'm an artist. And then he asks me to work in Delhi. Then fruits and vegetarians. And now here. Yeah, hey, I see. You not like my cake? No, I do. It's, it's really nice, you know. I can see you're an artist. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll um... see you later, darling. We were just checking it out like you were. They were free samples. And they weren't as good as yours. Actually, they were disgusting. They were bogging. We'd never buy a cake from there, honest. Well, you'd never buy anything from in there, Shifty. You'd still end up your pockets bulging. And not just my pockets. Me present for you. Like, how am I going to compete with that place? Going to need a miracle. Or Sally Latham's love cake. What? Nothing. It's a myth. No, it's not. I had some. Your ass, you did. I did. And so did he. Who's Sally Latham? Sally was a whale big girl. Short skirt, no bra. I miss the seventies. Shifty, would you not have been in primary school in the 70s? Yes, he was. And he was never out of trouble for looking up skirts. Anyway, see the day of her 18th birthday? She headed out to San Francisco and joined one of them hippie communes. Years later, she came back from her travels with this terrible cough. Month later, 
she was gone. Very well. Yep. So what kind of cake was it? It was a sort of fruit cake. Like Sally. When you ate it, you felt like you were in love. Is that right? Well, how did she make it? God knows. She took the recipe to her grave, literally. It was put in her coffin. Who fancies another? Should you not be cutting back? That drink can't be doing your gout any good. No, but should doctor give me new tablets for it? Viagra. Viagra? Her gout? Does that cure it? No, but it keeps the blankets off my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Give it a look. Why so upset, PJ? I think cupcakes finished. Why? I'm not doing any bigger in town anymore. Everyone's just gonna go to Sanko. I'm sorry for you. Yeah. The place was never the same since my parents died. When when they died? Four years ago. It's terrible. You sad because they are not here for wedding. What wedding? <laughs> Your wedding. Oh, the kitty? <laughs> no, that's like kitties. Where to my leg? <laughs> you know, she's she's an angel, that girl. You got that right, God's sight. Some people don't know they're born. Yeah, thanks. Colin, can you go and haunt somebody else now, please? Did you ever get a feeling like you were in an open prison? I have that feeling in my country. My family want me to marry a boy from next village. I don't like him. Well, I've been arranged marriage. Mm hmm In Belgium? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, yes. I know this song. This is, um... Ah, this is the, um... <laughs> PJ, you like to dance? The selector of the robot is usually mostly mechanical. It can be called a kinematic chain. No, I am. Um, I'll have another beer though. Please. I know how to fix you. We do shots. Yes? Um. Remember? First lemon, then drink. You know, I don't know if this is a good idea, Gala, because I don't really drink spirits normally. I I brought it from my country, it will make you happy. Really, you... Okay. You just try. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Lemon? Yes. Wait, we do like this. Cheers. It was okay. Good night, PJ. Four pints, one Belgian shot, one French abrect. Well done, PJ. You come in. You wanted to see me? Yes, Gala, come in, sit down. Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. How would you like to represent Sanko in a little cake contest next week? Um, 
Mr. Derek, I'm not baker. Oh, someone else will do the baking, you just do the decorating. So, put your name at the end of this little form. I'll take care of the rest. Oh, and if you're worried about the competition, don't. That night, Gala had a thought. Are you still with us, big fella? Mm. Everything hurts. My head hurts and my teeth hurt. Here, neck this. I've got the sausages under the grill, and the coke is going flat in the fridge. Can I have a straw, please? I hear you were in rare form last night. I made a total idiot out of myself, mate. Tried to kiss Gala. That's nothing. Shifty says you tried to kiss him as well. Oh. Whatever. He said he wouldn't mind a wee peck. But he draws the line of tongues. Your passport arrived this morning. Oh, and Gala came by and left you this. Is it a restraining order? It's an entry form for the Atlantic Bakery's cake contest. That's not funny. She's trying to help you. The first prize is £5,000. We're talking about me winning a baking competition. Did that pay off the duffies? I have as much chance winning a drinking contest. Are you going to waste the rest of your life? Are you going to choose the wrong girl and regret it for the rest of your days? Before you know it, half your life's over. And there you are, still waiting for it to start. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Be honest with me. PJ, do you really want to go through with this ridiculous wedding scenario? No. Do you always want to owe money to the Duffies? No. Do you want to save Cupcake? And keep your promise to your dad? Of course I do. Then you have to enter this cake contest and win it. Okay, yeah. I'll do it. Come on. Oh, oh sorry, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Have a drink, have a drink. Sorry, I, I can't book later. No, 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 no. Listen, uh, I'll go. Would you like some fresh air and maybe a bun? I was really, really drunk. You know, and, and I'm sorry if I upset you. It's okay, PJ. No, I promise that I will never ever try to kiss you ever again. But can we st still be friends? Is it? Of course. You sure? 100%. <laughs> Good. And thanks for this competition, Forms. <laughs> you know, I bake cake for that too. Mr. Derek, idea. What, what's your idea for cake? I figured maybe I'd just start baking and then, um, um, I haven't got an idea. You must have idea before start baking. You, you see place where you live, you find ideas, um, 
and you, you, you bake cakes to make people feel something, you know? Yeah. We change. It's beautiful. Look, PJ. There is a light up in the trees. Gala. Gala. Gala, no way! allow people to, to come in here. PJ, I'm, I'm sorry. Nah, look, you weren't done ill. My parents were on holiday in uh, Santa Ponza, and they won first prize at a limbo competition. You know, well, anyway, they won three litres of sangria, and then they got in a pedalo, and they... Well, all they found was um, a sombrero hat with a key tucked into the band of it. Mm. I don't have a grave to visit them at, you know, so I, I just come here. I can't really get my head straight in the bakery either, you know. It's good you have a place to remember them. The, uh, the last thing I said to my dad before they went on holiday was that, um, well, I promised them that I'd look after the bakery. Not doing a very good job, am I? You try very hard, PJ. I see this. I, yeah, I keep on thinking that I'll get a phone call and they'll have peddled into some foreign port or something, but I know it's not really going to happen. They're always just going to be lost at sea. For so long, I tried to lose my family. And you, for so long, tried to find. Well, what happened with your family? Too big story. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. It's a lie. You like these? These are um, these are my robots. They um, I mean they all they all move. This one this one moves. Yeah. I got this one in a boot sale years ago. Um, I've got these ones. This is the uh, mum bot and the dad. Yes. Hold this. Actually, these ones are a bit. They're my private ones, but I've got a lot of them. And they all do things. This purple one is really nice. Taste this. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop it. <laughs> knock, knock. Having fun? What are you doing here? Sit fitting Thursday, three o'clock. I was just baking a cake for the competition. What competition? The Atlantic Bakery's cake competition. Whatever. Listen, you've got five minutes to get changed and get your hoop in the car.
You putting on some beef for a big fella? Huh? No. Hmm? You alright there, Grammy? If I wasn't trapped, I'd be a one woman wind farm. PJ, are you trying on that set or are you making it? Who's PJ? The fella our kitty is going to marry. What happened to the other one? Ugh, that nightmare. Are you sure these are the right size? They feel a bit cosy. Oh, holy mother of God. <laughs> I mean, they've been sitting on the shelf for three months. Can I help you? I want you to sack somebody. Not you. I don't even know who you are. It's that Belgian tart. Gala? Well, what has she done? She's trying to come between me and my PJ. Gala's one of my most phenomenal workers. She's representing us in the cake contest tomorrow. Give the Brussels sprout our marching orders. Or else. She just has all these amazing ideas, Mute. And she is the first person since Mum and Dad, who actually has me excited about baking. Sounds like somebody's got a wee crush. No. <laughs> no. Nothing to be embarrassed about. But if you do like her, then why marry Kitty? I promised her. And besides, Mute, it's only a business deal. If Gala likes you and you marry Kitty, who's to say she'll stick around for a year? 20 years ago, I let down a woman I cared about. And I don't think she'll ever forgive me. Best phone in the garage, then? Yeah. Did you ever marry any? No. I nearly did once. But it wasn't to be. Do you think PJ will marry this awful girl? I hope not. He talked to him like like he's shit on the shoe. You really like him, don't you? I think he is a very good person. Mm -hmm. He's one of the best. But he's too trusting for his own good. Oh, by the way, Rusty Rafferty was in earlier today asking about you. Who is he? A policeman. Gala? Is there something you want to tell me? Are you not seeing furry cakes tonight? No, he's picking for some cake contest tomorrow. The Atlantic Bakeries you know, contest. Yeah. Did <laughs> you know? I'm going there. First prize is a thousand pounds. So if crap cake wins, he can put it towards the reception. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> if he gets to the final in Belfast, he could win five thousand pounds. Yeah. And then he can pay also. God help him. The only way he's going to win if somebody bakes a cake for him. Paul! What was it then? Mm-hmm. Have you seen Derek? No. He was looking for you a while ago. We want the Belgian to win. So do I. No. You don't understand. I'm telling you what the result will be. I can't fix the competition. <laughs> I'm sure you've greased plenty of pans in your time. Anyway, 
that's hardly in your interests for PJ to win, is it? No, but I don't understand. Yesterday your sister wanted me to give Gala the sack, and now you want her to win. Kitty's changed her mind. PJ owes us money. We wanted to stay that way. My first ever cake competition tomorrow. I think I'll just keep it low key. Might just bake a simple flan. She would agree. Number three, so on. <clears throat> One, two. Um, uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Atlantic Bakeries Cake Contest. <laughs> uh, we've narrowed it down. And now it is a three cake bake off. I would like to introduce the judge for today's competition. Mr. James Early! <laughs> now, James, let's go sample some sponge. This is the uh, team from Sanko. Can we help them judge here? Yeah, have a look at this one here. That cake looks like a winner. If you want, I can make for your wedding. Would you? Mm -hmm. I mean, them roses look real. Everyone take three hours to make. Mm -hmm. Come. Come and see more clothes. Come. But wait till you see the psycho kick. <gasps> what happened? Accident? Accident, my back! Sorry. Hey there, how you been? I haven't heard a thing in ages. I kinda cut you off, I think I needed to stay. Last I heard you moved away, not far enough for me. I'm sitting now, I'm wondering if we... What do you want? Kitty, I've got something to tell you. You know you've made an enemy for life. And she as well. I'll have a word with her. Okay. Maybe you could help us with the uh, bacon for the final? Yes. It would be great. This might help as well. What is it? It's a recipe for Sally Latham's love cake. What? You didn't do any digging. What do you take me for? Well, thank God for that. I have it since the night of her week. I swapped it for a batting slip I had. Sally's cake was the best I ever tasted. So why should it be buried with her? Well, thanks a lot, Shifty, but you know, I think it's going to take a lot more than love cake for me to win this. I need a big idea. Do you have one? Not yet. I thought it was being burgled. 
Last thing I expected to see was you pair partying like it was 1969. We had to try out the recipe. We had to be sure we weren't just imagining it from all those years ago. I wasn't working at the start, and then I realised that there was something missing. Berries. Berries from a bush Sally had brought back from her trust. Those growing at the back of her mummy's house. I went and picked some. And Bob, your uncle. So what happened? Oh, uh, never again. Not unless I'm having my toenails pulled or something. <laughs> never again. Never again. Thanks for helping me clear up. It was the least we could do after the mess we made. Sorry about waking you up. He didn't wake me up, actually. He'd been uh, having a nightmare. Let me guess. Was Kitty in it? Yeah, but she wasn't herself. She was the acid slobbering alien from the film of the same name. Yeah, she was chasing Gala through a spaceship, and then I appeared in the yellow cargo mechanoid that uh, Signore Weaver did, and you know, she delivered the line, um, "Stay away from her." You. And then I started throwing these cakes on. It was like. You got a phone call too, did you? Is he okay? I hope so. He hasn't been out of here for two days. Morning, everyone. Thanks for coming. Uh, got something to show you. It's what I've been building for the final of the competition. Uh, and don't say anything until you've. This is my vision for the ultimate wedding cake experience. What do you think? It's brilliant, PJ. You've built this, PJ? Yes, this bit's, this bit's finished. Can I just ask one thing? Mm -hmm. Where's the kick? So the chair's in and I think that's everything, yeah? Take it easy now. Don't be hitting any potholes. No bother. Are you going to be okay? Is he going to be okay in there? 
If there was ever a nuclear war, two things would survive. Cockroaches and shifty Mulgrew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gala, you had everything, yeah? Of course. Yes. PJ, stop worrying and just get going. Sorry. Thank Sorry, thanks. Thank Hello. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Which entrant are you? I we're the uh, Antrim area finalists, Cupcake. And you are? I uh, Paul John Johnson. PJ. You're not doing any operations today, are you, Mr. Johnson? No appendectomies, no amputations? Yeah. Aren't these screens strictly necessary? Yes, they are. Yeah, we don't want to ruin the surprise. I can see why you wouldn't want to do that. Do you have your entry form filled out? Thank you. Judging in ten minutes, Mr. Johnson. Uh, oh, excuse me. Could you tell me where PJ Johnson is, please? Dr. Kildare's in surgery there. Oh, thank you. Excuse me. PJ, we've got a problem. What? PJ? Is that you chicken licking? <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Ms. Dams and Messrs. Moot, Dam and uh, Heron. Judging will begin in two minutes. So would all non-competitors please leave the judging area. Thank you. I'd better skedaddle. Good luck, sweet kicks. Following us. Following you? Well, why didn't you stop? I didn't know she was following me. Anyway, anyway, you're set to go. You've done an incredible job. It looks great. Thanks. It's right? Moses and his Ten Commandments.
What are you going to do with the money, PJ? I'm going to pay off all my debts. Totally wipe the slate clean. Did you bake the cake yourself, PJ? Well, I made the, the mechanical bits myself, yeah, but the, um, the cake itself I did with the help of my family. Carl, I just wanted to say that I think you look Absolutely amazing in that dress. <laughs> yeah, but there was something else I wanted to tell you as well, actually. I... I also have something very important to tell you. Yeah. I just need to go and speak to Kitty for one minute. Just... Wait there. Right, don't, don't move. Don't, do not move. Oh, OK, OK. Mm -hmm. Not off my diet. This is medicinal. Okay. You look awful pleased with yourself. Yeah, we uh we ended up winning. I know. Kitty, I know you've been let down in the past. You have no idea what it's been like for me. The humiliation. Chilted three times. And now you're gonna do it again. Kitty. Please don't do this. Please. It's only for a year. It'll fly in. Kitty, I'm not the right one for you. You should wait until you find the right person. Like you have. I like her. I actually think I'm in love with her. <laughs> Think? Well, you should really be sure about that before you go upsetting my plans. Tell me, what's so special about her? Look at her. She likes robots. She's beautiful. She's kind. She likes robots. She's honest. Oh, really? Well, what's this? Honest girl's name, then. Well, it's Gala. That's where you're wrong, doehead. Her name isn't Gala. Her name's Elvetti. And she's not from Belgium. She's from some place I can't even pronounce the name of. And she's illegal. You're lying. You're in denial. Can you tell me how you know this then? Solemn column overheard her telling Annie McNabb. Just ask Annie if you think I'm a liar. I don't care. I don't care what her name is or where she's from. She's always going to be gala to me. And I am in love with her. And I'm not going to marry you, Kitty. See, here's the thing. If you don't marry me, I'll have her deported. Her family will make her marry some goat herder, and she'll never get back in this country again. Kitty, please don't. If I marry you, I want you to promise me that you won't tell the authorities about Gala. I promise.
much everyone. I'm getting married today. Hello? Rusty, is that you? Yeah, it is me. How did you know? Oh, right, whatever. Listen, I want to report an illegal immigrant. Yeah. You've scrubbed up well. I thought I'd smarten up for the occasion. Something's happened. Where's PJ? Out in his treehouse. What is it? What do you do? Your gal is about to go, dude. What about Cupcake? I, I, what did you do? Just take off? Why would you do that? You know, I heard tell of this young couple who fell in love. Now, he was a local lad, and she was from a land far, far away. Her visa had long since expired, and a wicked hussy had reported her to the authorities. It looked very much like this young girl was going to be deported. So, this young lad took his sweetheart on a little trip down south with his passport in his back pocket. And when they were there, they got married. And they lived legally ever after. It's a pity you don't have an Irish passport, PJ. It's in the till. What about the duffies? You have a wedding to get ready for. Mm. You pair, box up that cake. This is no time to be delivering cake, PJ. PJ! Are you not meant to be going to the I church? Was looking for an old fire with a new friend. Safe from harmony and loaded sentiment. I was hoping maybe her eyes and my eyes would come to. Where is he? You should have been here by now. Maybe he's dead, did you? Shut up, fair eyes. He's talking to you, mother of stars. Where is he? There's been a wee accident. He spat the back of his trousers. What? Well, I hope there's nothing hanging out. Last time I seen one of them near scarred me for life. Come away and tell Opie, I'll eat it. Well, how long will it take to get them fixed? Annie's setting them up now. He better be, or his ass won't be the only thing that needs to sewn up. But he sent these for all the guests to have while they're waiting.
<laughs> what are you doing here? I want you to stay. Take it, please. Kitty, it's PJ. He still did you. I thought he would. They all do. Well, then they almost be mad to jilt a pure babe like you. Song Khan, would you marry me? Oh, I haven't been so relaxed in years. It's a long time ago, honey. I think it's time to move on. And in all honesty, you're the only girl there ever was for me. So, said she loved crossing borders because it's like starting again. I guess I know what she means. I have known PJ all his life. I've never seen him looking happier than he is today. Here, here. Not many of us find real happiness in life, and when you've messed up, you don't believe you'll ever get a second chance to put things right. But if there's anything I've learned, it's that when love comes along, you take a chance on it, and you grab it with both hands. Because in the end, it's all that really matters. And PJ, if Jerry and Rosie were here now. I know they'd say, good on you, son. We're proud of you. PJ and Gala. No, oh, sorry, sorry, darling. PJ and Elveri. PJ and Elveri.
Thank mm-hmm. you.